So next we're going to make part C21. Okay, and if I look at the drawing, C21 looks just like C19, except right here in this corner, there's a little block right there. So instead of making this all from scratch, I'm going to open up my C19 that I just did, and I'm going to save it as a different file name. So that way I'm not accidentally editing this file. So this would be C21. Now, in order to get that block right here, I have to do another sketch and I have to choose this face. Okay, you know. So I'm going to use my rectangle tool and we want to go from this corner to that corner. Okay, so if I hover, turn green, click, and then go to the other corner, click. And I actually don't need to put dimensions down because those two points are well defined. So I just need to finish my sketch, extrude it, and I'm going to extrude this. And there's your C21. Now, besides C21, if we take a look at the packet that I handed out to you guys with all the different numbered parts, so C19 could easily be turned into C20, the block's right there. We just did C21 with the block right there. C22 has the block in the middle there. C23 has the block in that corner, and C24 has the block in that corner. So you can make all those parts just from C19.